for a sec. Time for he nata. Hello, did you not hear me? I need to ring my phone. Oh man. Oh my gosh! Look at the pair on her. Hey guys, back again with another video. Welcome back to Feels lifestyle today i'll be doing my top picks of dragon ball super so when i say the top picks i mean the most exciting moments for me when i was watching dragon ball super before you watch if you have not watched dragon ball super yet i will advise you to check out one of my other videos until you finished dragon ball super so let's get to the countdown of my top moments in dragon ball super first we have black goku I really was not expecting this. When I first saw Future Trunk, I was expecting to see a new Android villain, but when Black Goku got revealed, it just got real. Moving on to the next one, that would be Goku vs. Hit. We have not really come across a character like Hit in the Dragon Ball series. So this is why it really intrigued me. An enemy like Hit, oh, I can't really call him an enemy, I'll say a character like Hit. Time altering abilities, it worked so well in the series even seeing goku adapt super saiyan blue with the care can was perfect moving on to the next moment this moment was just unbelievable seeing goku and frieza actually team up just shows jiren is such a beast but he could not handle the coordinations of goku and frieza they were so on point i guess it just came from them two fighting each other for so bloody long <laughs> But moving on to the next one, it's Vegeta vs Tapo. Loved Vegeta's pride. In this fight, Vegeta just showed us how strong he has become by reusing that self-destruct move he did against Majin Buu. But this time around, he didn't fully destruct. He used pure power. Coming down to the second to last of my picks. This was a tricky one. Alright, let me explain why this is a tricky one. Because Vegeta is one of my favourite characters in Dragon Ball. And when I saw him turn Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, it was a wrap. I was so gassed. And I saw him do the final Kamehameha. It was perfect. But what got to me, they did not put him in the Tournament of Power. Kind of sucked. But the last moment for me topped it, seeing Goku go to his full potential at Mastered Ultra Instinct. Always a moment to wait for. It was brilliant seeing Goku at his full potential at this time. Because we all know Goku he keeps getting stronger. Yeah guys, thank you for watching. That was my top moments in Dragon Ball Super. Let me know what your favorite moments were in the dragon ball super series leave your comments below let me know what your moments were and remember to like subscribe share the video if you liked it click the thumbs up and guys keep on gaming on keep on loving i'm out